always things to do. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Kristen, and today I'm be making some fun little Dollar Tree farmhouse decor. I thought I would mix it up a little bit and not do anything that is fall related, since I know that that's just blowing up right now. I will just probably do some of that next week. I don't know yet, but I am going to show you guys what I have come up with just for a few dollars. I got inspired on Pinterest. These things were selling for over $30. I'm not going to post it because I know that some people sell things and that is just how they make a living and I'm completely okay with that. But I thought that for people who like me who cannot afford spending $30 to $40 on little items like this, I would show you how you can create them with the Dollar Tree items. I would also like to thank Top Cash Back for sponsoring this video today guys don't know what top cash back is you guys are seriously seriously missing out it is one of the best apps I use it constantly if you guys online shop like I do then you will absolutely love top cash back top cash back is a super easy way to shop online and save money all you have to do is upload the app to your phone and add your email and password to sign up when you shop through the app, there's so many different stores to choose from. When you shop at the Dollar Tree, you can save 4% cash back through the app. You can ship to store to save on shipping costs because I know that the shipping costs are quite expensive. They have some amazing fall decor items. My Dollar Tree has yet to get the fall decor in, so this is a super easy way to grab it while you can. And although the Dollar Tree app does have large quantities to choose from, they also have smaller ones. If you just type in pick and pack right at the top, it will show you the smaller quantities that you can choose from and you can purchase them that way. I seriously love all the fall decor. I am obsessed with the cotton stems right now and I grabbed a bunch of those when I was at the Dollar Tree, but I have yet to see them since then. So you guys, they have them on the app, so make sure you guys check out the cotton stems, check out all the fall decor. I know we all love to shop in bulk sometimes as well. Like when we're making wreaths, we do want 10 to 20 different items. So I think this is the perfect way. Like I said, ship to store. It's completely, completely free. And it is also super amazing when you can shop and also make money doing so. If you guys want to check out Top Cash Back, I will leave their link in the description box below so you are able to check that out. So my DIYs are super, super easy. I'm just going to take two of these little milk jars from the Dollar Tree. I think they're milk jars. That's what I'm going to call them. And I'm just going to paint them with the Waverly chalk paint in white. And I did do two coats of this because I wanted them completely covered. I didn't want them distressed. I didn't want anything poking through. So two coats and it worked really, really good. Our situation still undecided. None of us knows what we want to do. It happened last week when I stopped by your place. And the next thing I grabbed was these little spoons. I think these are really cool. I seen, like I said, I seen this idea on Pinterest. I will show a photo, I suppose, but not of like the actual person who's making these. And they just painted them to look like cows. I think these are so stinking cute. And I did six of these spoons so I could do three in each of the little jars. And I just used the apple barrel paint that you can pick up at Walmart for 50 cents. And this is just in the jet black. And I did go over these little spots twice so they were super, super black. My hands were shaking when I rang your bell. And out of all the things we thought could happen, we ended up naked in your bed. If you show me this, I give you that. Everything we ever wanted. And this, for what it's worth, give it a try. And then once my little jars were completely dry, I just did the exact same thing and just drew little cow spots on these. But if we stay like this, then you know what? Then I don't want to seize the moment. So let's, for what it's worth, give it a try. We can stay up late like if not. Me 
And then I'm also going to take a mason jar in this chalkboard paint. I ended up just using regular black spray paint just because I didn't have any more of this paint left. And then I just spray painted the jar black. And then I'm just putting little white cow spots on here just to mix it up. Then I just grabbed some free printables from Pinterest. I got this certified farm fresh milk and homemade ice cream. And then this just this plain cow one. And I took the farm fresh milk and then I just kind of cut it out. I didn't use everything that it said, but I wanted to mod podge it onto this little glass jar or this little milk glass. I don't know what we want to call it, but I'm going to call it a little milk glass. And then I'm just mod podging a couple of things on there. I liked the farm fresh milk and I also liked the little cow. And then for the other one, I'm just going to take the cow and I just cut them out and Mod Podge this one onto the middle. And then for the last DIY, while I was waiting for everything to dry, I just picked up this little mason jar. It says Grow Big Dreams. And I'm just going to take my Waverly chalk paint in white and paint over the top. I got these mason jars from Dollar General pretty recent. They have all their summer clearance on sale or summer clearance on sale. They have all their summer clearance for 50% off. So these were only 50 cents and I did pick up quite a few. And then I did print out two of these. I know this one looks just like the one I used on the little milk jar, but I printed off a bigger one and I'm just going to Mod Podge it right to the mason jar. So I just kind of threw it on there and I did cut around it and Mod Podge and then sand the edges down so it did fit. Where you There's no doubt in my mind You will always be the Heading out to see ya And leave the rest behind And then I picked up this boxwood greenery from Walmart. It was only 97 cents. I recently just got this. I have not seen this around the store until now. And then I just added it to my little black and white mason jar. And then when everything was done and drying, I did add the spoons into the little milk glasses. I absolutely love the way these turned out. They are so cute. You can decorate for any season with these. They can be out all year round. And I absolutely love things that can be out all year round. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you hit that little button down below so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And again, if you guys want to check out Top Cash of Back and make money while shopping online, I will leave those links in the description box below. Make sure you go and check them out. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.